Welcome back to yet another episode of Miss Mandy Throwdown. Now, on this episode, I get to show you how to make my talke. You know the ones that I was talking about before I went to Lamu? Yes, you can check that out here if you haven't checked out the Lamu series. Well, you need to buckle up. We're going to be making some amazing matake and peanut sauce that's going to be absolutely delicious. For those of you who might not know, I'm actually half Rondes. And with that being said, my mom used to actually make this amazing matake and peanut sauce and she used to serve it up with some sombe on the side. Well, I'm gonna be using her recipe, put a little bit of twist to it, you know, the throw down twist to it, in order for me to show you how easy it is to whip this up. Let's get started. So matake is actually quite a popular dish in Kenya. And the most interesting thing about it is they come from the Mana'ana family, so they are also known as plantains. However, you can always tell the difference between green matoke and plantain. Reason being, green matoke is generally just green, while plantains tend to ripen. And yes, matoke does ripen as well. However, you kind of enjoy them more when they're green. I like them when they're just about to turn yellow, but today we're just going to do it the way my mama usually does it. So we're gonna start things off by, of course, boiling the matake, or rather par cooking it, in order for them to get tender before we, of course, put them into our sauce. So it's been about seven minutes, and as you can see, they are very tender. And we don't want them too tender because we're, of course, gonna be cooking them in our stew. And after the seven minutes, we're just going to set it aside in order for us to start making our sauce. So in another pot, we're gonna just be adding a few drops of cooking oil. So we're gonna be using one onion diced. And then we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt onto the onion. We're going to add a dash of black pepper. And we are cooking everything on medium-low heat. The, the onions have been cooking for about a minute. We're gonna just add a little bit of our garlic and then add in some of our green pepper. Stir everything together. And then just let that cook for a bit before we add in our tomatoes. So after about 40 seconds, we're just gonna add in our tomato. Now we've turned down the heat to extremely low in order to stir this in. We're gonna sprinkle in a little bit more black pepper. And we're of course going to be adding our powdered garlic. Yeah, you can go crazy with that. Add in a bit of paprika, just a little bit of chili. We're going to proceed to add in our cumin powder, about half a teaspoon. Crush one all-purpose seasoning cube. We're gonna be using water from the matoke because it's hot and it has starch. And then just pour it into the sauce. And we're just going to cover it and let the tomatoes cook with the spices. It's been about four minutes and the tomatoes are cooked. We're just gonna mash them. Once the tomatoes are completely mashed, we're going to add in about one teaspoon of tomato paste, stir it in. Then we're gonna be adding a little bit more water from of course the matoka water. We need it to thicken. We're just going to increase the heat to medium low in order for it to Simmer. Now it's time for us to just taste in order to adjust if we need to add any more ingredients. Mm. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit more garlic, a little bit of cumin powder, and more garlic powder because that's how fantastic I want the food to taste. And of course, stir everything in. So we're going to add in about one teaspoon of peanut butter. And you can go with any peanut butter you have in the house. Stir it in. It's gonna be adding in a little bit more hot water. Just gonna throw in just a little bit of salt. And then add in a little bit more water. I'm gonna turn down the heat to completely low. And then take out our matoke from the other pot. Put it into the sauce. We're going to add in the rest of the green pepper. So we've sprinkled in about one all-purpose seasoning cube. And then we're just going to cover it in order for it to simmer for about five to six minutes. It's been about seven minutes now. We're just going to check on the matoke. 
as you can tell, they are ready. Go ahead and of course serve. Just gonna be adding a little bit of chili flakes onto them. I had to share with you guys one of my mom's favorite throwdowns because I consider her my throwdown queen. And I just wanna say to you, that was super easy to whip up. You should whip up as well. I know a lot of you love matoke and you've been trying to figure out new ways on how to throw it down. Well, that was super easy. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment in order for you to, of course, keep up with the Miss Mandy Throwdown episodes. Until next time, I'm about to dig in.